All right. Um, so, um, so first of all, thanks a lot for uh, the uh, equilibrium organizers and uh, all the people who have attended this uh, significant, uh, fantastic uh, workshop and online conference. Uh, really happy to be here. Uh, and yeah, we just crossed 500 live entities, like really great audience. So today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, data indexing and DeFi. So uh, to those who are unfamiliar about uh, indexing, uh, basically, uh, in a nutshell, there are two things that uh, the two things that require uh, data indexing tools in DeFi. So first of all, um, decentralized finance as anything that uh, has to do with money uh, requires powerful data analysis tools to extract and analyze millions of transactions across uh, multiple data sources and on-chains. So basically, uh, imagine that uh, you have access to all the financial transactions by Visa or MasterCard, and you can track any transaction, analyze the origin, uh, see uh, where it came from, where it goes. Uh, this is a tremendous uh, amount of information and uh, and tremendous amount of value that you can extract. Uh, if you're running a DeFi protocol, you definitely want to know how many users you have, how many money they're moving in and out, uh, what is the TVL, uh, what are the uh, risk parameters, basically everything that uh, is behind the mechanics of the protocol. This is the first part, uh, offline analytics. The second part uh, is the actual user experience of your decentralized uh, application. Uh, what we need is a very responsive UI, and we want uh, real-time up-to-date data. Uh, and uh, basically, we want our users to see their transactions as if they're happening immediately, right? So basically, uh, we need an API that reflects the actual state of the network. And this is something that is virtually impossible to do uh, using only uh, standard RPC and uh, traditional access to the nodes. So this is why uh, Subsquid exists, and uh, this, this is what we have been doing for the last two years. Um, we have already seen uh, two major releases, and we are about to release AeroSquid. Uh, this is our uh, probably the major update up to date. So first of all, we are blazingly fast. Uh, so Subsquid allows you to grind through uh, up to 50k blocks per second, which means that even if you want to look through all the history across multiple chains, uh, that will not take uh, a lot of time. We support uh, pretty much all the major substrate and EVM networks, which means that you can pull the data from uh, pretty much all the relevant sources. Uh, you can do uh, both online and offline uh, use cases. So basically, you can extract and offload this data for data analysis and market files, BigQuery, or you can have a near real-time GraphQL API to have a responsive uh, backend. And uh, for the backend, uh, we provide a free hosted service called Aquarium, where you can uh, deploy your custom indexers built with Squid SDK and uh, enjoy uh, the uh, production-ready API. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have released uh, our new product called Giant Squid API, which is basically a one-stop shop for everything related to Polkadot. So currently, it includes the data uh, about transfers, crowd loans, staking, uh, account, and identity data, account and identity data. And it has already been used by uh, wallets, such as SubWallet and uh, Explorers. So basically, the Giant Squid API is uh, something that you can just plug and play without uh, being, without making any additional development effort. So basically, this is just the data in a very convenient GraphQL format. They can just uh, grab it there, uh, no registration required. The GenSquid API uh, is uh, going to be funded by uh, Polkadot Treasury and is designed as a public good. Uh, so, if we look at the uh, Subsquid ecosystem, 
uh, from a bird eye perspective, then uh, there are like four major pieces in here. So uh, our crucial enabler is uh, what is called squid archives, which are data lakes where we have all the raw data across multiple uh, chains that we support pre-indexed. That allows us to pull this data uh, up, up to 50K blocks per second, which is something that is unimaginable uh, if you do your indexing directly from the RPC node. Uh, then we have an open source squid SDK, which is basically a set of tools uh, that allows you to do uh, to deal with the data lakes and uh, process this data in big batches. This is essentially what you use if you want to build a custom indexer and deploy it to our hosted service aquarium. So if you have your custom DeFi app uh, or, your, or your substrate chain, then uh, this is the path that you usually go. Uh, either uh, there is already an archive for your chain or uh, you request it from us. Uh, we deploy it like in one two days and after that you can build uh many uh as many as you want uh, custom indexes indexers with squid sdk and build uh, graphql apis on top of this or uh extract the data for the analysis and finally uh, uh as i mentioned there is a new product uh giant squid api which is a standalone uh but behind the scenes it is built again with a squid sdk uh, so let us dive uh, a bit deeper in the way that we do indexers. Um, the way that uh, it was previously done uh, is like this. So basically, we have an indexer uh, that sources the data directly from the blockchain. And uh, especially in the substrate world, that was uh, a lot of there were a lot of complications with this. So first of all, it is very slow. Uh, it relies on unstable gRPC connections. Uh, it is very messy to work with uh, runtime upgrades and uh, uh, Polkadot.js releases, which, def which uh, typically is not backward compatible. Uh, the way that we do uh, is uh, we actually pre-index everything that happens on the on the blockchain and the substrate in a, a pet squid archive. So basically, this is something that already aggregates all the data ever happened. And our squid processors source the data from there. And uh, then you can have full control over the way that this data is transformed into your API. Uh, in particular, we have additional tooling to generate uh, typings, uh, metadata, uh, analyze metadata from the chain so that you never uh, skip the updates uh, due to runtime. Uh, and um, uh, basically, uh, the indexing speed here is uh, around uh, 50, uh, 60K blocks per second, uh, which means that normally you have your uh, uh, indexers up and ready in like about uh, a few minutes. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, real DeFi use cases that has been using uh, Subsquid for a while. And this illustrates like how exactly this indexer uh, is used from the uh, user perspective. So interlay, uh, a simple dashboard and relatively simple squid. Uh, so a squid is an indexing project. This is how we call uh, an indexing project built with Squid SDK, which basically pulls the data, transforms it, and presents it with GraphQL API. So uh, here you'll see uh, different statistics, and uh, these statistics are shown. Uh, they are backed by uh, the custom uh, GraphQL API that is provided by the Squid uh, interlay developers have built. Uh, next step is uh, Stellar Swap. So, so for Stellar Swap, uh, this is a more in-depth analytics. So we basically grabbed everything that happened across multiple chains related to swaps uh, across uh, multiple DEXs, and this allows them to uh, get very deep insights um, about their uh, competitors and the trades. And uh, finally, uh, the use case for Giant Squid is uh, powering the staking page of SubWallet. Uh, so basically, this is the plug and play API that they use, uh, and uh, that uh, this is what you use when you look at the crowd 
uh, problem uh, page uh, on the sample application. And finally, uh, uh, what about BASM? This is like a new kid on the block. Uh, we have first class support for ink and BASM contracts on Alex Zero, Aster, and uh, Gear program. They are not ink, but they have their own uh, way. Um, and um, in particular, uh, we have a tool for generating uh, ready to use indexer just from the metadata of the ABI. This is significantly lowers the uh, learning curve for squid and the ink uh, development. And uh, this is about it. Uh, I would be uh, really happy uh, if you give me a follow on Twitter. And of course, DMs are always open. So if you're building something cool on Substrate or uh, EVM, uh, pretty much welcome. Uh, we will be happy to help you with the data. Uh, this uh, is it. Uh, I, if we have any time for questions, uh, I would be happy to answer.